Hey guys, uh, still driving home, so it's the second video I made today, and uh, I just had to stop here and take a peek at this. So check out what this farmer's done, it's super brilliant. He set up a snow fence, and if you take a peek here, you can see that there's literally thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of liters of water being stored here. So check it out. So that's a giant bank of snow. It might not look as big in the video. Let's see if I can zoom in here with this. And uh, that's probably 50% water. So typically snow is only 10% water. So for every uh, meter of water, you'd get 100 centimeters of, uh, or sorry, 10 centimeters of, of um, actual rain equivalent. Um, so 10%, but a snowbank like that's probably got about 50%. So imagine setting those suckers up on contour alongside swales and then letting that melt. Eventually you can supplant the wind fence with trees. And I can't think of a much better use of plastic. Um, I'm just absolutely floored here. I'm gonna walk away from it so you can get a sense, keep it on wide angle. And as, as I'm walking through this field, it's just loaded with water. It's interesting because this was obviously a grain crop before um, this winter. And even the stubble that's left in the field in, in an attempt to try and um, harvest water is not doing nearly as good of a job as that snow fence there. So there it is in the background. Tens of thousands of liters. It's simple strategies like this that make all the difference and can change an ecosystem from a downward spiral into an upward spiral. And so I just encourage you guys, as you're going about your day-to-day -day life, keep an eye out for these things. Look out for these little patterns. That's what we refer to them in permaculture. They're little observations that make all the difference with regards to how we implement designs on our own property. When I see stuff like that, it just makes me so excited because we have so much capacity to alter how our ecosystems function. We really don't know what's possible. And so in spite of all the degradation that we see, we actually have all the knowledge that we need in order to create really fertile, productive systems to clean the planet up, to bring her back to the productivity that she once was just by looking for patterns. Thanks guys, have a great day, talk soon.